think we should find your friend Joffrey at once. I'm with you. You're back. Thank Talos. They attacked without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. We need to go see if it is safe. We'll go together, but I fear the worst. You think there are any more of those? I They've taken it! The Amulet of Kings is gone! The enemy has defeated us at every turn! So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. But we must play for time, at least. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. We should leave at once. The coronation of each new emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple.
Everybody's talking about the hero of Kavach. They say he actually went into an oblivion gate and destroyed it. Good day. Confiscating your stolen goods. Oh, and no gold to pay your fine, hmm? It's off to the lockup then. Then pay with your blood!
This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. As a blade, my place is... Cloud Ruler Temple was built long ago by the founders of the Blades. It is high in the mountains near Bruma. Our ancient fortress, sanctuary, refuge of last... Re May Talos guide you. Grandmaster, is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come, your blades are waiting to greet you. Blades, dark times are upon us. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, Hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn. Hail, 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 Martin Martin Septim. Septim. Hail, Hail! Hail! Your Highness, the Blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Joker, all of you. I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. 
I'm not used to giving speeches, but I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Amanda. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The Blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an Emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Of course, the Amulet of Kings. So we, I, can take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires and stop the Oblivion invasion. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, we need the Amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. All practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and Oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the amulet is the key to the preservation of that barrier. What I saw at Kavach. Everything I know about Daedric magic says that such stable portals are impossible. Yet those gates to Oblivion existed. The old rules no longer apply. Kavach is only the beginning of what Mehrunes Dagon will do. If the amulet is truly the key to restoring the barriers between our world and Oblivion, you must waste no time in recovering it. I haven't always been a priest. In my youth, I followed a different path. I know more than I want to about the seductive power of Daedric magic. Let's just leave it at that. Something has changed to make these stable portals to oblivion possible. Joffrey believes that the death of the Emperor and the darkening of the Dragonfires is the key. Don't worry about me, my friend. I know I need good hands. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a Knight Brother of the Blade. You're right. We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassins. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. Give my warm regards to Boris. Tell him he should not blame himself for the Emperor's death. He did well to send you to me.
Well now, what do we have here? Caught in the act and no gold to pay your fine. I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Now it's off to jail with you. Hope you rot. I'm Tolgan, herald to Countess Narina Carvane here in Bruma. She requests your company at your earliest convenience. Countess Carvane would prefer if you speak to her in person. She also said to present you with this stipend as a taste of things to come. My lady holds court from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening each day. That would be the best time to see her. Safe journey, my lord. Hey. Take this. It's from a friend. Skjorda, Nordwinds. We've got clothes and armor, and I've got a headache. So keep your voice down, please. We drink because we're happy. We're Nords. It's just the thick tongue and fat head the day after that makes me unhappy. Did you hear about Braden Lyrian? A vampire hunter named Raynal Dralis made his way into town snuck into his house and killed him. Yes, the vampire hunter. As far as I know, he just showed up recently here in Bruma. Not only that, but he already found a vampire among us. Apparently, Braden Lyrian was one of those vile creatures and Raynal slew him. Kind of strange, though. I never figured Braden to be a vampire. He seemed to be such a likable fellow. Let's do business.
don't expect me to make that deep. I'll do you don't expect me to make that that deep. That's more than I would usually come back and see me again. May I interest you in some of my fine wear? Goodbye. I'm Ulfen, the light armor trainer. Skjorda and I run North Winds. Please excuse us. We had a little drink up last night. <laughs> Still a little muzzy. Just like Skyrim, except for all the tight-ass Heartlanders around. All work and chapel. No wonder they're so sour. I overheard a guard mention the Countess is looking for a piece to add to her collection of Akaviri artifacts. Our taxpayers' drakes at work. I can repair almost anything. Knowledge is power. I can show you pay attention and I can show you only quality goods for sale here. What co my it that seems a fair price. I can't afford to do that. You're trying to drive me out of business. I can't afford to do that. You've made a good bit of gold. A good price for a good customer. An excellent bargain. I appreciate your business. You too. Please. Rumor has it that Edla Darkheart left Skyrim with the law right behind her. You too. I'm Surotan, proud owner of Nova Roma, a little piece of Heartland Empire here in the lofty Geralds. I overheard a guard mention the Countess is looking for a... No need to go to the Imperial City. Bruma may look like a Skyrim town, but we've got all the comforts of the warm Nibbanean South. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. You got a great deal. That's more, more than you got a great deal. Thank you for your patronage. Farewell. Thank you. 
Welcome to Bruma, stranger. Hafid Hollowleg. I'm your host at Jero View. Bed, food, whatever you need. Lyra Rosentia collects Akaviri artifacts. Chip. You hear about Jerunder? He was caught stealing gold and now he's in jail. I bet our. Good day. I can eat for a day. Arnora and Jurunder were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all of their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. He was gonna skip town on Arnora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all, poor thing. Hafid Hollowleg says that Gerald View has been doing good business. Blessings of a new upon ye. How do you do? Hi there. Something I can help you with. Bye. It's a pleasure to see you. I've heard much about your deeds from my people in Bruma. I trust the stipend Tolgan gave you whetted your appetite. Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Countess Narina Kavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaviri relics I'm displaying. Well, it's safe to say I'm a collector of sorts. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. In fact, I'd be so bold as to proclaim my collection the most complete in all Cyrodiil. Perhaps even beyond. Except for one thing. A particular relic has eluded me for many years. Possessing this piece of Akaviri antiquity would make my collection complete. I'm of course referring to the Draconian Madstone. Some see only the conflicts between northern and southern cultures, but I see the way they are stronger when woven together. He served Emperor Uriel for many years, and so far he has done well in an impossible situation. The stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship. Worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. The madstone appears as a snake coiled around and encircling itself. The eyes of the snake are supposed to be precious gems or some such. Through my sources, I've learned that the last reported location of the Madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. It is not always an easy life we lead, but the people must be served. Please consider my proposal. Hear me out. Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? Back at the end of the first era, raiders from the continent of Akavir attempted to gain a foothold here in Tamriel. At that time, 
the empire was broken into smaller factions. Raymond Cyrodiil decided to unify them and form an army to repel the Akaviri raiders. The force became known as the Army of Raymond. The two armies clashed in what's now northern Cyrodiil. The Akaviri were strong and well supplied. But their greatest error was marching through Morrowind on the way to their objective and dismissing the response it would garner from Vivek. They didn't count on Lord Vivek forming an alliance with the trident kings of the Dreg. From Morrowind, he struck at their rear flank. Not only did this make the Akaviri fight on two fronts, it also cut off access to reinforcements and supplies from the sea. Not quite. The army of Raymond knew that the organized Akaveri forces were commanded from a hidden post in the mountains. Rumors placed it in a snowy vale called Pale Pass. That's where Raymond focused his attention. As his forces fought their way across the Gerald Mountains, the Akaviri suddenly surrendered. It was assumed they were overwhelmed and gave up. The only strange part was that the command post and Pale Pass were never found. It was dismissed as a rumor. It's come to my attention that the post did exist. And it happens to be the last reported location of the Draconian. If you retrieve the Draconian Madstone for me, I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. I've come into the possession of a diary, written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. I paid several scouts to try and find the ruins at Pale Pass before I hired you. They were only able to locate the first of a series of landmarks. These landmarks are mentioned within the diary. The one referred to as Dragon Claw Rock has been located. I'll mark it on your map. The rest is up to you. My scouts reported bitter cold and dangerous creatures in the area, so they couldn't proceed. Be cautious and return home. May the path ahead be free of danger. Hi there. Well met. Who will help an old beggar? Well met.
a long and perilous journey, but there is no time to rest. The army of Raymond is at our doorstep, and our supplies have dwindled. We have awaited your arrival. Tell us, what news do you bring from Akavir? Well done, soldier. Your mission is complete, and you have my thanks. Now we may rest. Long live the Akavir.
recovered the madstone? I never thought it possible. I mean, I had hoped. But congratulations. I had a feeling you were the right person for the job. This Akaviri ring was found with the messenger's diary. It awards the wearer with... It's known as the Ring of the Viper Eye. May luck be always on your side. Welcome to... Ah, let's do business. You don't expect me to make that deal, do you? You don't expect me to make that deal. I can't do that. You'll need to make a better offer. Come back. There's a mo ex. You too. Today's your lucky day, so let's hear it. I understand the Fighters Guild is hiring new members. Not bad work for some folks. Uh -huh. You. Hi. I'm Logvar, Hafid. Nords who drink either get friendly or mean. I'm here to deal with the mean ones. Good news from Kavach for a change. The last of the Daedra have been driven out. Farewell.
please leave me be. I, I'm sorry. I can't right now. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynold Dreyless, will be allowed access. The culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. I'd tell you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are, so I'm not sure that I can trust you with that sort of information. We'll see. Really? Inter- What a wonderful compliment. You can't scare me. Get away from me. Really? In really now? You're such a charm. You're a- Is that- That's very good. The culprit in this crime is all- I tell you- Tell me more. I wish I could say that. Goodness. What can I say? You're a vault. Oh, please. I suppose there's no harm in telling you what happened. Word is bound to get around Bruma anyway. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. Or was. If it wasn't for Rainiel Dralis, we may never have uncovered the truth. Let me explain. In the last week or so, we've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Luckily for us, Raynal arrived in town. He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. He tracked the vampire to this house. When he entered the place around noon, Brayden was sleeping. He was able to slay him at that point. Luckily, Brayden's wife wasn't home. Poor thing. She didn't even know her husband was infected. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Brayden out in the daylight. He's only been spotted at night. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you, so you can see we really don't need any help. As far as I know, he was a good man. I, I never saw this coming. But vampires are masters of deception, so I guess it makes sense. I'm impressed. It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. Do you believe any of that talk about more oblivion gates opening all over the place? Feel free to question anyone in town. They shouldn't give you too much trouble. I can't believe this is... Please! Please! I need your help! My husband was no vampire! It's ridiculous! No one will listen to me! Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly. And to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. This is all happening. I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open and my Braden dead. Standing over him was a Dunmer. I screamed and ran out into the street. Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunmer identify himself as Rainil Dralus. He said he was a vampire hunter and that Braden was his mark. The guards seemed to know about Rainil, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. The guards sent for carriers who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Raynil convinced Carries that Brayden was a vampire. Well, of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. And another thing. The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Brayden out. He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Why does that make him a vampire? It's all that Raynal character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Of course, he says he's never been here. Look, there isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. 
I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right. Sorry, but... So... I'll warn you about one thing. I understand you. We have it on good authority from officials in a neighboring city that Raynell is what he says he is. I am only allowing you to do this investigation, and I use that term ve- I'm sure Erlene is very upset. She'll be safe, though. Raynell has confirmed with us that she Her accusations that Raynell is lying is not surprising. At this point, she's so- I suppose if I- Keep up the- So, what do you look- The guilds are in a row. In the center of town, below... What? The castle is to the west. The chapel and how... Keep up the... Hello. Good work. I suppose. Do you have... Poor old Nora. Seems her boyfriend, Jerunda, has... I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him... All right. That's enough. I salute you, most impressive. Not now. Sorry, I don't get it. My life is drab and wretched by comparison. Not now, not later, not ever. You win the... That's just... That works for me. I have no... I know I sound desperate, but... I know he just showed up recently here in Bruma. Not apparently Braden Lyrian was one of those vile. He seemed to be such a lot. Yes, the vampire hunter. A he's Good news from Kvatch for a. I'm listening. Please go ahead. Someone needs to get Skjorta under control. What? Yes, the vampire hunter. As far as I know, he just showed up recently here in Broom. Apparently, Braden Lyrian was one of those vile creatures, and Raynell slew him. He seemed to be... What? I'm listening. It's enough. My life is... Sorry, I don't get it. Don't talk such rot. Such an... You think that's funny? Not now. You win this one. You've got a point. Such an adventure. That's just stupid. Don't try to manipulate me. I won't fight you. That's amazing. Don't try. That's just stupid. I see. Yes, the vampire hunter. As far as I Farewell. Yes, the vampire hunter. As apparently, Braden Lyrian was one of those. He seemed to. Good day. What do you. Yes, the vampire hunter. Apparently, Braden. He seemed. Good day. Well met. 
What? What's new with you? I've heard that the Nords of Skyrim have been warring with the Redoran of Morrowind. The Nords have always been with you. Let's hear it. Hi there. Good to see. Yes, the vampire hunter. As far apparently brave. He seemed to be. The Count of Skingrad and I are not social intimates. In fact, may luck be always on your side. Greetings. for a change. The last of the. I'm Captain Bird. Yes, the vampire hunter. As far as I know, he just showed up. Apparently, Braden. You see. You too. Hi there. Edla. Edla Darkheart. If you want to be a mar Knowledge is... Poor Arnora. Seems her boy... Yes. Uh Goodbye. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm Regner. You want anything? Yes, the vampire hunter. I was at Olaf's earlier, and I ran into this Dunmer named Rainil Dreles. After a round or two, he told me he was an honest to goodness vampire hunter. Good day. What can I do? I usually don't give out that kind of information. Oh, we'll see. You're full of it. I'm not buying that. <laughs> don't, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're a big... That's a bit except... No more. You're fright... Yes, y yes, whatever you say. Blah, 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 yeah. Uh, don't be silly. Not bad. <laughs> Was that whatever you I see? I usually don't. All right.
You're a big fat liar. I doubt you really. No more. <laughs> All right, I get it. I usually do. Have a look around. You won't find better prices than all Tamriel. That's a fair deal. No deal. That's a good deal. An excellent bargain. You dr drive a hard bargain. You got a great deal. A good right. You drive a hard bug. That's a fair. That's more the. You've made a good bit of gold. You'll need to make a... That seems a fair... Thank you! Yes? Don't, please. I'm sorry. Yeah! Was that supposed to be... You're a big fat liar. You're a big fat liar. <laughs> Good one. That's a bit ex I accept. I have no choice. Blah, blah, blah. What a bull. I'm not buying that. I accept. Not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. I accept. I have no choice. Not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. I doubt you really mean that. You're full of it. Don't, please. I'm sorry. Sure, that's... <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? For me? For can't do better than that. Raynil's staying in the last room down the hall upstairs. Here's the key. I always liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. What can I do for you today? Gelleborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. 
Raynal told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelborn down and killed him. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Raynil and his so-called accomplishment. And nothing else I can tell you about him. I know I may be out of line by saying this, but I think the city guards may be wrong. It's hard to imagine. I could have sworn I saw him outside in the daylight before. When I heard Rainil killed him, I didn't know what to think. But after your visit here, I'm beginning to wonder. Just look for me if you need anything else. mentioning that name once. He was part of the Brotherhood he had created with Raynil. Yes. I know I sound desperate. So? How do you know about that? Oh! Too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Raynil not too long ago. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. What do you mean you disagree? That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? Then don't go around flinging accusation and hearsay. If you dare now, if you believe what you're saying... Keep up the good work, I suppose. So... We'll see. You can't... I wish I... Really now? You're... You're revolting. You're revolting. I wish I... Please. I... Oh, please. Really? Interesting. Goodness. What can I... You can't... You're revolting. So, I'll warn you about one thing. I understand you wanting... We have it on good authority from officials in a neighboring city that Raynal is what he says. I am only allowing you to do this investigation and... Yeah, I've heard of him. Isn't he a soldier? All right. What a great story. You're a... You're West... Please, I'm embarrassed, but thank you. Please, I'm embarrassed, but thank you. You should be a... Really? Oh, please. Ugh. That you can't scare. Well done. What a wonderful compliment. Oh, please. You're a vault. Really? No, I see. What? So, I'll warn you about which I have. For you, of course. How nice. For me? Thank you. How kind. What proof of you? So, I warn you. I, I warn you. 
take your time. Keep up the... Good work, I see. Hello. Do you have any more? I have no idea. Yes, I remember Braden mentioning that name. I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right. So, hello. Good evening. What are you? You too. How are you? Good evening. Isn't Alga a good story? So, what? I, I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense now. Why else would Raynal have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skingrad? I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Raynal from Brayden's body before we arrived. To think that two innocent men were killed, and that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... I'm speechless. I will rouse the guard and begin a search for him in the city. Meet me at Olev's Tap and Tack in one hour. can do anything else I've got right 
Just look for me if you need anything else. Just before I arrived here, I received a report from one of our scouts watching the roads. Raynal was spotted heading west out of Bruma. The scout tried to follow, but lost him in the mountains. The only cave to the west that comes close to the one described in Gelleborn's journal is Boreal Stone Cave. It must be where he's headed. You must get there before he acquires whatever artifact is being kept there and makes his escape. I'm keeping the city guard in Bruma as Raynal doesn't know we're after him. If he sees a guard, he may panic and run. You're my only hope at the moment. Please, you have my authorization to do everything you can to bring him to justice. If he won't surrender, I think you know what to do. Hurry, I fear you have a day at the most to stop him. Please hurry. Raynal may make a break for the open door. Congratulations. I had a feeling you would catch on sooner or later. Leaving that journal behind was a stupid mistake on my part. I saw you enter Olav's Tap and Tack before I could get there, and I knew that I had to sneak out of Ruma somehow. It was only a matter of time before you or Carius figured it out. No matter. After I've killed you, I won't need my vampire hunter ruse any longer. Certainly not. I'm surprised Carius didn't send the entire city watch up here, but then I would have seen that coming, I suppose. I expected to lay low for a while and then be on my way. So again, I under- This leaves me with little choice. Either I fight you now and have a chance at freedom, or I surrender. I prefer the- Yes, I suppose it is. Well then, we've talked enough.
What news do you bring? Long ago, I made a promise to Braden. I promised to never reveal to anyone what I'm about to reveal to you now. However, because you've avenged his unjust death, I feel that Braden would understand why I'm breaking that pact. Braden told me about this amulet when they first brought it home from whatever distant land it came from. He never really trusted anyone else in the group, and before he secured the treasure in that cave, he had a special enchantment placed upon it. The magic masks the true identity of the item. All it takes is a simple command word, and the amulet would be restored to its true state. No, he always feared this day would come. He left me knowledge of that word in the event that he died, and I came into possession of the keys. If the other members of Braden's group were still alive, and I on my deathbed, only then would I pass the knowledge on to them. If you'd give me that amulet, I would like to show you what you've recovered. Thank you. I will now speak the word. Brother. Here is the amulet back. It's as beautiful as it was the day I remember seeing it long ago. I want you to keep it, as I have no use for this anymore. I'm certain that's what I want, and I'm... I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the amulet... I'm glad he's dead. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but I think you understand. Justice has been done.